getting fixed up when you wake up you're pretty enough hey guys so today's video is going to be a review video and it's kind of like a first impression i tried this product out the day that i got it but i i just wanted to see like how it went on and stuff i put it over makeup that i was already wearing and then yesterday i actually did like um a full day where I wore basically just that and some concealer and I took pictures right after I put the makeup on uh, a few hours later and then in the evening so I'm going to be placing those photos in this video and let's get started so the product that we are reviewing today is the covergirl ready set gorgeous powder foundation and let me know if you guys like the lighting in this video. I found a light bulb for my second lamp, so I got like double lamp action and like the ceiling light. Anyways, I got it in 105 to 110. I believe this is the lightest color they have. Well, I put it in the package to show you, but it's actually open. So this is what it looks like. It's like super pale people probably could not wear this because of the coloring. It comes with this sponge, which I don't know. I really love the way the sponge feels. I used the sponge to apply the makeup to my face when I first got home and just wanted to try it out. And it has a good size mirror, which is nice. Um, a lot of people have mentioned this. The packaging is just super cute and sleek for some reason. I don't really understand it. But it, it is called Fair. But I am not fair, <laughs> and this color matched me really well. And it feels smooth. It feels kind of cool, which is interesting. And let's see if I can get the color to look better against the light. There. And then it's definitely smooth, and it feels good when you put it on. It does have a powdery look to it a little bit. Well, the first time I tried it, I did spray my e.l.f. finishing spray. I don't know if that stuff's any good. It basically just has vitamins in it, and I think it's to take away the powdery finish. But I didn't test this with any finishing spray yesterday because I wanted to know what this felt like on its own. I did use my Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer, which I don't like, <laughs> but it was the best option that I have right now. And I used my new Maybelline under eye circle erasers, the brightening ones, like the peachy shade. And I'm not sure how I feel about that either. Everyone raves about that, but I felt like it just, it brightened up everything really well, but I felt like there was still darkness. I don't know. And I'm not wearing any makeup because I have, uh, I need to go for a run and then shower and stuff. So this is my leftover curly wavy hair from yesterday. I threw on a shirt. I am wearing sweatpants. <laughs> Back to this. I wanted to like this a lot. I watched a few different videos on YouTube about this. A lot of people said that when they put it on it made their skin feel dry and tight. I believe both of like two two of the videos that I watched they said that they had combination oily skin. I must I swear I am some sort of combination skin because I get dry spots but I also get oily and I get super oily depending on the product that I use, but they said that it made their skin feel tight. I never had that problem. It never felt dry or tight or anything. But I did notice, which I will show you in the pictures, that even though, where does it say? Uh, says that it has extra fine oil absorbing powders to control shine. False. <laughs> Uh, if people with combination oily skin are saying that it makes their skin feel tight, I would imagine that people with dry skin shouldn't be touching this stuff. And if I am getting super oily compared to even other CoverGirl products with this on, I'm going to say that that is false. I do struggle with um, YouTube reviews sometimes because there will be a girl who's received like this line this i think this is the katy perry line through covergirl they receive the line 
they use the liquid foundation, they use, then they use the powder and the concealer, and they're saying how it's awesome, they love it, and they do the whole video where they like do their makeup, and then they show you their outfit, and they get ready with me using this stuff. I don't know how they could be 100% truthful, because at least one of the people that I've seen make a video like that has super oily skin. I don't have super oily skin. I do get some oily stuff, like, in mostly, like, a little bit on my chin, here, and on my nose. I was oily, like, everywhere. I was shiny. It was disgusting, so... <laughs> I mean, obviously everyone's different no matter what their skin situation, but I wanted to love this, and I just... I think I'm gonna have to take it back, because <laughs> it was a good price. It was... I believe somewhere around six forty-seven. It's a good price. I mean, it doesn't work, so the price doesn't really matter. Um, I was comparing this to the L'Oreal True Match because I heard that that was good. They're exactly the same price. That one's been out longer, I believe. This one has 0.37 ounces in it, and the L'Oreal True Match had 0.19 or something. So I I may try that. I'm not really sure. I really thought that powder foundation would be um, a good option for me because during the summer the liquid I just liquid seems to oxidize really bad on me and especially in the summer and then if you get sweaty and I hate foundation lines and powder is a little bit easier to just softly sweep over your face and not have to worry about that so much unless you buy like a really dark color or something my review for this is gonna be kind of negative I don't like it. I haven't tried anything else from the line. I heard also from the people that said that the powder made their face tight, that the concealer was difficult to blend and didn't do a very good job. I think one of the reviews I watched said that it didn't crease underneath their eyes when they put it there, but it also didn't cover up the dark circles because their concealers aren't on the peachy side, they're skin tone, so... Sometimes when you put skin tone colors over, like, the purpley tones that are underneath your eyes, it can get kind of, like, gray looking or just kind of strange. But that was why I didn't try out the concealer <laughs> and I got something else. I'm really looking for a quality drugstore, uh, like, creamy liquid concealer. I know people rave about things like the NARS Creamy Concealer, but I can't afford that right now, so... I ain't gonna pay that much for a concealer. I want something from the drugstore. And if you have any suggestions, leave it below. I'm probably, I don't know, I may go to the store and return this powder and get a different concealer prior to this being up. But I wanna know what you think anyways because I just, I go through so many things and have to return everything because they just don't work. I believe that is it for this video. If you have tried this product, please let me know below and leave your feelings about it. I love to talk about these things. I like learning. <laughs> if you're not subscribed, please do hit that button and like this video if you like this video, if you like review videos, if you have any products that you'd be interested in seeing me review, please leave them in a comment below and I will leave all my social media links below this video. And I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye! Take you on a night ride Windows down, sitting on my side Tick tock, now we're knocking on midnight Me and you, girl, running out of moonlight I wanna hold you to the break of dawn Hear the cricket sing a riverside